So if you have a triple chime clock, you'd probably know that when you switch the chime selector lever to any other melody, it moves the barrel which is inside the clock. And that's correct. And what that barrel does is, there's see those little pegs on there? It acts like a music box and it touches the hammers which lift them and then strike each note and correspond to the melody it's gonna play. So how this works is, you can see that there's that spring right there, and basically that spring is always, is constantly pushing force to the left on the barrel. And you can see that long rod right there, and that has grooves on it, so when I move it down, you see it moves the barrel. That's Westminster, see it's moving on those grooves. And when I move it back up, it's pushing, the spring is pushing, and then it goes down and pushes on that rod, which moves the barrel see that right there. So I'm going to show you a cool little trick you can do. And this trick involves playing all three melodies, not at the same time, but all on the same quarter or hour. So how this works is, let's say you come up to the 45 minute or quarter of chime, because we can see that the clock is set on Whittington. And Whittington gives you a progression of eight notes. Then we move the selector down to St. Michael's, and then another progression of eight notes, and then Westminster, which is a progression of four notes. And we can all do that. We can do that all in one quarter, rather. So if you mess up and you accidentally do it too fast, it's okay because it's not gonna, it's not gonna break your clock. All it'll do is just drop those hammers once they're lifted. It'll sound a little wrong, but then it'll, it'll correct itself. And you don't have to worry, it's not gonna break the clock. I'm going to show you that later at the end of this video. But for now, I'm going to show you what, it, what this sounds like. And it's actually pretty cool. So before I start, I want to say a disclaimer. Always be careful when doing this trick because although these clocks are beautiful and I might be playing with it by doing this trick, but I know what I'm doing. And if you ever try this trick, please be careful. It's not going to break your clock, but it could break your clock if you do it the wrong way. So always be careful when handling clocks, and I'm gonna show you how to properly do it. So here we go. So now we're gonna do the trick, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this trick only works with the 30 minute chime, the 45 minute chime, and the hour chime. It won't work here because you only get a progression of four notes if it's on Westminster, or eight notes if it's on St. Michael's or Whittington. It won't, it won't work here. So let's say we come up to the 45 minute chime, it's on Whittington right now, and this will work either way. So you can do, right now I'm going to do up to down, or you can do down to up. So you can see the clock is set to Whittington right now. And Whittington, again, gives you a progression of eight notes along with St. Michael's. And then Westminster gives you a progression of four notes. So when, you, when it starts chiming 45 minutes, you let Whittington play just for eight notes, then you move it down like so, another eight notes for St. Michael's. When it's done with that, move it down again to Westminster, and then that's fin that finishes it off with four notes. Now that you know how to do it, I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and I'm not gonna talk so you can hear what it sounds like, and here we go. So you just heard it switched between all, I just switched it between all those chimes and that's what it sounds like. So as you can see, we're on the side of the clock again. This is the right side of the clock and we're gonna do the same thing we just did, but I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of what happens. First, we're gonna do this side and then we're gonna switch over to the other side of the clock since there's two little windows on each side and I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes. So here we go.
So I said before that you can do it either way. You can switch the selector either way and do it up or down. So I'm gonna do it from down to up now and show you what it sounds like that way. And just for fun, we'll finish it off with the hour. I also said before that you can screw it up, not really screw it up, just kind of mess up. Of course, the clock will fix itself, but this is what it will look and sound like if you do go a little too fast or slow when switching the chimes. See, so they they screw it up a little bit but it's honestly doesn't really screw up because it just goes back to normal it fixes itself so that's pretty good anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video today if you liked it give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more like this and yes this is my 100th video so thank you guys so much for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.